Now it's your turn to use the multiplication and division grid. Remember, you can pause the video at any time for some thinking time. Try multiplying first. Use the grid to help you. When you find the answer, or if you get stuck, watch the next part of the video. Press pause now. OK. Remember the white squares show how many we have altogether. The yellow row shows the number of equal groups. And the yellow column shows the size of each group. 6 multiplied by 8 means there are 6 equal groups. So we read across the yellow row to find the 6. Then we look down the yellow column until we reach the size of the groups, which is 8. And the answer is the white square where the number of groups column meets the size of the groups row. 6 multiplied by 8 equals 48. If you got that, brilliant. Now let's try dividing. As before, watch the next part of the video when you've finished or if you get stuck. Press pause now. OK. We're going to use the grid to solve 36 divided by 4. We know that each group has 4 in it, so we read down the yellow column until we find 4. Then we read across until we find the white square 36, because that's how many we have altogether. Finally, we read up to the yellow row to find out how many of these equal groups we can make. So we have our answer. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. If you got that, brilliant. Well done. The more you understand maths, the more fun it becomes. To practice some more examples using these grids, try the penny drop card.